Hello dear all, welcome to Sunday Education Academy. I am Santosh Vag. In this video, we will see questions on the try this section, page number 211, chapter Direct and Inverse Proportion, Class 8 Mathematics. So, let's start our video. See the question on the try this section, page number 211, chapter Direct and Inverse Proportion, Class 8 Mathematics. Your question is given, observe the following tables and find which pair of variables here x and y these are the variables are in inverse proportion three tables are given and this is one of this is the first table we have to find which table in which table or which pair are in inverse proportion here we can correlate the data given in the table as the speed of a vehicle and the time required by the vehicle to cover a specific distance here if we consider x as the speed of vehicle and y as the time required to a specific distance by the vehicle we can see as the speed decreases time required increases but here we have to find whether these two variables means speed and time are in inverse proportion we know what is direct proportion direct indirect proportion two variables x and y vary in proportion means if x increases y also increases in proportion but in inverse proportion in inverse proportion what is the definition the two quantities x and y are said to be in inverse proportion if x and y are two variables these two quantities are said to be in inverse proportion if an increase in x causes proportional decrease in y and vice versa means if x increases y decreases but in proportion isn't it so it is here proportional import proportional what is important proportional decrease isn't it proportional decrease or increase isn't it if one increases other decreases but in proportion so this proportional word is very important in such manner the product of corresponding values product of correspond their corresponding values if x1 and x2 are two values of x and corresponding values of y are y1 and y2 then x1 and y1 if product we take that is constant and that is equal to x2 into y2 so this is the basic condition for inverse proportion means if x and y are two variables those are said to be in inverse proportion if if x increases y decreases but in proportional so here we have to find whether x and y are in inverse proportion means we have to take the product of different values of x to the corresponding values of y and if their product is same for all values then we say that these are in inverse proportion so if if this is x let it be x1 x2 x3 x4 and these are y1 y2 y3 and y4 so just take the product of this corresponding values of x and y here x1 into y1 that will be equal to 50 into 5 that will be 250 now take the next product x2 y2 x2 y2 is 40 into 6 6 that is 240 now just taking the product of two variables two quantities both are different so we can say directly these are not in inverse proportion but let find the other products also and confirm our solution that x3 into y3 that is equal to 30 into 7 that will be equal to 210 and last one x4 into y4 that is 20 into 8 that will be equal to 160 now see all these are products and which are different but what is the basic condition this k this product k constant must be same for all values of x1 y1 isn't it then only we say that x and y are in inverse proportion but here product is different so our answer is answer is x and y here in this table here x and y are 
not in inverse proportion isn't it here we can say these are not in in inverse proportion even though this x decreases y increases see here here x is if we decrease the value of x y value increases but not in proportion so these are not in inverse proportion now see the second table of this question that is question under tie this section page number 211 and in second table x and y these values are given we have to find whether these are in inverse proportion we know x and y are in inverse proportion only if the product of x corresponding value of x to the corresponding value of y is constant that is equal to x2 y2 isn't it means if x increases y decreases but in proportional so this is the basic condition for inverse proportion term now for this we must find the product of this corresponding corresponding value of x to the corresponding value of y if these are the x let consider as x1 x2 x3 y x4 and here y1 y2 y3 and y4 if we take the product of x1 and y1 and if we find the product is same for all different values of x to the corresponding value of y then we will say that x and y are in inverse proportion means if x increases here see x is increasing y should decrease but should in proportion and to confirm our solution we must take the product we must find this k constant which must be same for all product so let's take the product x1 into y1 x1 is 100 and y1 is 60 so product is 6000 isn't it now see the second product x2 y2 that is 200 into 30 the product is again 6000 here for the first two values product we got the same let's see the for the next one x3 into y3 x3 is 300 and y3 is 20 again product is 6000 now for the last one x4 into y4 that is 400 into 50 again 10 into 4 that is 6000 product is 6000 here we are getting product which is constant for all values of x1 x2 to the corresponding values of y means here x is increasing y is decreasing but in proportion means here we are saying as x increases value of x x in increases value of y decreases isn't it but in proportion isn't it why proportion because product is same isn't it here in different way we can say if we take the product uh, product x1 upon x2 that is x1 is 100 divided by x2 is 6 x2 is 200 ratio is 1 upon 2 and similarly we are getting y1 upon y2 y1 is here y1 is 60 and y2 is 30 product we are getting 2 upon 1 so here as this product these are in inverse proportion isn't it as x increases y is decreasing but in same proportion so these variables x and y are in directly inverse proportion so our answer is here x and y are in inverse proportion so this is our final answer now see the last table of this question here this table is given values of x are like this and y are like this so we have to find 
whether x and y are in inverse proportion. We know x and y are in inverse proportion only if product of x1, y1 that is equal to k and that is also equal to x2, y2. Isn't it? Means if the product of different values of x to the corresponding values of y is constant, then only we say that x and y are in inverse proportion. What is the meaning of inverse proportion? If x increases, y should decrease but in proportion. So to confirm our solution, we will take the product. So if these are the x, let it be x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 and corresponding values of y as y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6. So just take the product of this x1 and y1, x1 and y1 which is 90 into 10 that is 900. Now x2, y2 product x2 and y2 that is 60 into 15 that will be again 900. See here product we are getting same for the first two values but it must be same for all remaining values. So we must carry out the product of last only up to last that is x3 and into y3 that will be equal to 45 into 20 that is again we are getting 900. Now see the fourth one x4 into y4 x4 is 30 and y4 is 25. Now see here product is 750 which is different. Also see fifth one x5 into y5 that is 20 into 30 product is 600 and for the last one x6 y6 that is 5 into 35 product is 5 5 is a 25 5 is a 15 plus 2 17 the product is 175 see here though the product is same for the first three but it is not same for all one so even though x is decreasing y is increasing this is one of the condition for the inverse proportion that if one value increases other must decrease but main condition is it must be in proportional isn't it decrease or see here decrease or increase must be in proportional isn't it here even though x is decreased and y is increased but their decrease or increase is not in proportion why not proportion because product of different values of x to the corresponding values of y is not constant for all values so here our answer is here in this table x and y are not in inverse proportion isn't it why not in inverse proportion because increase in x causes decrease in y but not in proportion so this is our final answer this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you